Tonight, Columbus police are investigating two shootings that happened on the same street less than 24 hours apart. One man was found dead by a dumpster Monday, and just this morning, police say two other men were hurt after a shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. Tonight, we're hearing reaction from neighbors in the Italian village. 10 TV's Carly Dion joins us now live with more from that community tonight. Carly? Andrew and Yolanda, I spoke with business owners and employees in the Italian in the Italian village here today about the recent gun violence here on North 4th Street. They tell me they were surprised to find out what's happening here and hope police are able to put a stop to it. Definitely is a big shock. It was unfortunate. Business owners like dentist Robert Wood II says this type of crime doesn't typically happen in their neighborhood in the Italian village. Yeah, I know there's a couple of break ins and stuff. I know when you're closer to downtown, that happens, but nothing like, you know, like a body being found, especially close to my practice. Columbus police were called to the 900 block of North 4th Street just after 415 yesterday morning when a body was reportedly found near a dumpster. The man, suffering from an apparent gunshot wound, was pronounced dead at the scene. This surveillance video shows a fight between several people in that area just two hours earlier. I mean, it happened 2.30 in the morning, and I mean, if you're out 2.30 in the morning, I mean, what you, what's going on? Micah Campbell is a barber at Royal Rhino Club Barbershop and Lounge, one of the businesses bordering the parking lot where that body was found. In the last six years I've been here, has been pretty peaceful, so to see something like this happen, Right in the backyard, it's kind of it's kind of nerve wracking. Less than 24 hours later, another shooting on North 4th Street, about a half a mile away from the first location. Police say two men were shot just before one this morning. It is believed the shots were fired from either a car or on foot. Both men who were injured are expected to be OK. Campbell thinks the violence is coming from people who don't live in this neighborhood. During the day and you know the evenings, it's pretty safe out here. Meanwhile, business owners like Wood say they believe police are doing what they can to keep the city safe. Yeah, I think they are starting to put like a little more focus around here in the area just because of the increased gun violence. But I think they're doing as best as they can with everything that's going on. Now, the name of the victim in Monday's shooting has not been released, and the three persons of interest connected to that shooting have not been identified, according to Columbus Police, but anyone with information is asked to contact them. Live in the Italian Village, Carly Dion, 10 TV News. Carly, thank you. To find out where crime is happening in your neighborhood, head to our website. You can use our interactive crime map at 10tv.com slash crime tracker 10.